I A Shalom. First and foremost, call Allah Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rakhak Wadash. Double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone who were aware that taught us his truth. Peace and blessings to you, brothers. That's a part of the Bayasha Daladah, the house of David. Okay, to the hopefully elect out there. All right, you uh, men and women. All right, that you know follow the truth as it's supposed to be uh, followed. Okay, I'm brother Ryan Moth, man. You already know. Coming with a, a testimony. You know, uh, me and the brothers was, you uh, know, and I, and I totally, you know, through the spirit, for, <laughs> you know, forgot, forgot all about, you know, this account that um, happened to me when I was uh, very young. <laughs> you know, I mean, I remembered it. I remembered it, but, um, you know, hey, when time passes, you know, you're in this truth. You know, um, you know, it, it, it got, it got brought. It got brought back up, basically, or brought back out of me. And uh, I'm going to read this scripture real quick. This is Hebrews 13 and 2. Uh, I'm going to start at 1. Let brotherly love continue. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares, man. Okay, and that's going into the account. I'm going to get, I'm going to get, because I'm doing this, I'm, I'm doing this, um, you know, just off the camera, but I'm doing. I'm gonna be doing this while I'm driving, you know. Um, uh, and one more scripture. It says uh, Matthew's 18 and um, 10. Take heed that ye despise not one of these little ones, for I say unto you that in heaven their angels do always behold the face of my Father, which is in heaven. Meaning what? You know, we got guardian angels, man. And this is this is what's going to go into this account that I have through the spirit. Um, a testimony, actually. You know, well, I think I was like nine or ten, nine years old, eight years old. One of the two, between nine, eight, nine, and ten. You know, it's like, yeah. uh, between eight, nine, or ten. Um, All right, but I'm going to get into the testimony, and I'm going to end with those scriptures. I'm going to go to Walmart real quick. But um, basically, um, I seen an a angel when I was uh, real young. Okay, I had to be at least the age that I said, said I was, you know. And, um, you know, I was, at, I was at the Ontario Mills Mall in California, and I was with my stepmom. And my little brothers and little sisters, a little sister, and um, you know, like I've I've said it before, you know, about the uh, the family, you know, the family situation, um, you know, uh, through the spirit, you know, my family, well, my dad per se, he he married a uh, Edomite woman after my mother, you know, which you know, whatever, whatever on that, but this is who I'm at the mall with. And uh, growing up in my dad's household, you know, I was always uh, treated different. You know, I was always the the <laughs> the last to get food at the table. You know, my dad hardly bought me things, whatever. You know, um, even my stepmom. You know, it was a lot of going. But she was a devil, man. You know, she was an Edomite, straight up Edomite, man. You know, and. Um, um, basically, you know, we were at the mall and, uh, call all y'all about Shemel Shai that, you know, I really, you know, you know, for putting the spirit on my mom, you know, to make me not want, you know, to, to make me not have to want for anything, you know, when I was, uh, uh in my, you know, when I was a uh, youth, cause I was going back and forth from my dad's house. My, my parents were split up. I was going one week at my dad's house and then one week out with my mom I mean, at my mom's house, you know switching off to that nature and um this 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 edomite lady man this lady that my dad had fucking married man this used to put real fucking hell on me man i mean real hell i mean like real fucking hell man from the age of five on no i don't want to get too deep into it you know but she used to just put fucking hell on me on purpose you know certain certain situations she would uh for instance this account you know, she'll take, she'll take, um, 
my little brothers and sisters to the fucking mall and shit, and I'll be with them. And because my mom or whatever the case, it was it wasn't no like e equality thing. Like it wasn't like oh well, she was treating me like I was hers too, you know. So at this mall, you know, um, she's taking my you know my 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 brothers and my sisters around, taking them in the stores. And the mall is built like a square, so you could walk around it multiple times, you know. And she just taking them in the mad stores, buying them shit. You know, to, I got to wait outside. They picking shit out. And I felt like the energy of, you know, I felt the energy of, like, laugh, laughing at me. Like, you know, like, ha ha, I ain't going to get him this. This is going to make him feel bad, you know. And, and I ain't going to lie, low-key did make me feel sad. I mean, I'm a kid, you know what I'm saying? I was, what, eight, nine years old? Like, I'm a kid. You know, damn, I'll at least buy me something, you know? And this lady didn't buy me shit, man. <laughs> I mean, nothing. This lady ain't buy me anything. Yeah, this particular day, whatever. But this lady ain't buy me shit, man. And we going into these stores, and I'm, like, I'm low-key not really tripping like that. Like I, like, I feel a certain type of way, but I don't, you know? And, um... So the last store I remember us going into was kind of like by the exit of the mall. And I'm like, man, you know what? I'm I'm going to wait outside. She's telling my little brother, like, oh, you know, everybody, this motherfucker's one year younger than me. You know, we could fucking share clothes type shit. But uh, she's telling him, yeah, go into uh, this store. You wait out here. You know, like, like I said, she got my siblings with me and shit. And I'm like, man, you know, so I'm kind of like at this point. You know, feeling feeling a certain type of way, and um, out of nowhere, <laughs> and I'm me, and I and I remember this vividly, and it, 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 it makes sense that I'm in the truth that this happened. You know, out of nowhere, uh, a, a, a older, a older uh, Jake, a older Israelite man, right? This is what happens. I'm not even paying attention at this point either. I forgot what the hell I was doing. I'm not looking right or left, you know, it's, it's a mall, people are walking by, people are passing by, you know, and, um, an uh, older, like, Jake dude, I feel somebody touch my head, you know, I feel somebody touch my head, well, I don't mean, like, touch my head, like, hey, you know, touch my head and the motherfucker had a, not motherfucker, but, you know, touch my head and, and he had a conversation with me, he just, he touched my head for at least, like like a like a um like if you were walking past the kid right in your household and you seen him and you just look at him and you know you trying to touch him on the head like uh everything is gonna be all right type of touch you know so he does that he touches me on my head and he proceeds to keep walking now there were stores right now when he touched me on my head I kind of like look let me mind you I'm not in the truth you know I'm I'm a kid <laughs> you know. And uh, he proceeds to walk, but I look and I see him though. This the this the this the part that trips me out now that I'm in the truth. I see him, and I kind of was like, you know, in my head, like, what the fuck, like, you know, as a kid, you know, I'm like, what the hell, like, yo, this motherfucker just touched my head, you know, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, what the fuck? And I look. It was like the spirit had me look to see what direction the dude went, and this angel, right? I believe he had on a he actually he had on a hat like a, a like a, like a old school like westernized cowboy hat like like in uh like a um you see the movie uh, Jeepers Creepers like that type of kind of like uh coat he had on and he was walking and he was walking you could see clearly it was an Israelite man you know cuz I seen when he had walked past I seen when he had walked past me after he touched my head you know and I'm like, yo, looking like, and I see him walk. Now, let me mind you, there's stores from right to left. This man didn't, he didn't walk, he didn't look right or left. He didn't look at stores. He didn't go into a store. And when he was walking, it was like, kind of like, it was like, it was, a, it was crazy. Like, it was like people were evading him. Like, like if somebody was walking the opposite direction of somebody, Right, people were like moving around him, you know, and I'm looking at him, 
You know what I'm saying? He got the he got the coat on, you know, and his walk wasn't like regularly. It was kind of like a slow pacing kind of walk. But like I said, he wasn't looking right or left, left or right. He wasn't looking at stores. He was actually heading toward the exit, you know. And I was like, yo, and then, you know, thinking back now, I mean, thinking from back then till now, you know, you coming to the truth. Because like I said, that still stuck with me. You know, I still remember that. And that's how I know it was Yahweh Bashim Yahshad because I hardly remember anything when I was fucking eight, nine, or ten. Except for they be dramatic experiences. You know, shit that'll scar you. But, yeah, man. Hey, yeah, and it was, hey, when I came to True, me and the brothers, we was talking on Saturday after camp. And the Lord had me bring that out. Because we were talking about angels and things to that nature. And that's why I had brought out that scripture. You know, um, the scripture that I just brought out, you know, for their angels always do behold the face of my father that is in heaven, right? Because we do, hey, if we were predestinated to be in this truth, okay, uh, Romans the eighth chapter, guess what? Before you even came into the truth, like uh, the Lord told Jeremiah, he said, yo, I knew thee before I formed thee in the belly, man, you know, and ordained you to be a prophet. Now, I don't, I'm not doing that. I'm just calling an ace of ace and a spade of spade, man. You know, this is things that I remember through the spirit that had to be an angel. It had to be because I was in time of needing uh, comfort. And I felt like when he did that, and he didn't, like I said, he didn't like say nothing. He didn't say nothing. He just kept it pushing. He didn't touch nobody else's head. Nothing like that, man. You know, man, it's fucking raining and shit. He didn't touch nobody's head or anything like that. You know, when he was walking past, he didn't go into no store. He didn't look at no store. He just kept walking, you know? And I got simple. I was a kid. I told my dad, somebody touch my head. And, you know, oh, she was all oh, next time, you know? But it was, it was an angel, man, because she was a fucking demon, you know? She was, and she still is a fucking demon, man, you know? But just to share that through the uh, Rakaqa Dash, man, you know, through the spirit, like, yo, I like it. I don't like, I don't, I'm not a boasting brother, man. Like, I'm not, you know, I don't fucking boast and I'm this. I don't do that, man. This is just, you know, Lord willing, you know, comfortability for the men that are in this truth, you know, that, you know, labor, knowing that the Lord has always been with you, even though you were uh, in the world, man. Even though you were, you weren't in the truth, guess what? The Lord always had an angel around to comfort you with certain things man you know and that's what I felt you know now that I know why that certain scenario all right happened I, I know now through the spirit why why that angel touched my head you know and continued to walk on you know he was comforting me man you know he was giving me comfort because like I said like I felt like like down cause I'm like damn like you know, if it was my mom and it was me and she took my brothers and stuff around the fucking mall, she would she would have got them something, you know. But I'm like, all right, but that yo, it was a it was a, a thing of comfort, man. The ain't, ain't a Lord. The Lord called all your help. I shot a Lord sent an angel to actually comfort me, man. While I was a youth. How about that for predestination, man? Lord willing, we be the first fruits. But the Lord and it's not even about, you know. Like, oh, pre oh, yeah, I'm pre -death. I don't know, man. Hello, willing I'm near. Like, I don't know what the hell, I, you know, my lot is with the, I don't know. I know I'm going to keep pushing pushing this word, you know, until, until I fucking have a heart attack and drop dead. That's for sure. But, you know, it just, show, it just showed me that the Lord knows exactly what you go through. He knows, man. Even when you think he doesn't, no, you know. Even when you think he doesn't, like you feel like you're alone, you're not alone, man. You're not, you are not fucking alone, man. And, and, and coming into this truth and knowing that now, that was exciting to me. That was lively to me, you know, and being able the Lord and the Lord revealed that to me. Ultimately, that that was an angel. The Lord revealed that to me when I came into the truth. Like, yo, remember this back then? That was an angel, man. The Lord, Yahweh Bashim al revealed that to me, man. You know, and I can't make this stuff up. <laughs> it's from my childhood. I had a horrible childhood, man. Horrible as hell. You know? But that right there showed me that the Heavenly Father 
is still dealing with Israel and he ain't, he hasn't laid anything to heart like the scripture said, man. You know, I'm going to get this scripture again. Matthews 18. This is Matthews 18 and um, so I can And 10, take heed that ye despise not one of these little ones. For I say unto you that in heaven their angels do always behold the face of my father, which is in heaven, man. That's a guardian angel, man. Okay? And that's exactly what came came down. All right? And comforted me. And like I said, I can't I can't make this stuff up, man. But this ain't no like I, I went to sleep and woke up and you know, well, brothers know, man. This is a uh, Psalms 34 and 7. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and devour and delivereth uh, them. So the Lord will send angels down here to comfort you, man. You know, even when you don't even know it. I was young, man. <laughs> I was young. I was fucking young, man. And the Lord did that. And now I remember it through the spirit, through the Rakakwadash. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get one more scripture. I'm going to close this out. Jeremiah and hey, I, I was supposed to go through that to be here, you know, to 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 comfort, to to comfort brothers, man, comfort one, comfort ye one another with these words, man. I'm gonna get that too. This is Jeremiah one and um five. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee to be a prophet to, unto the nations, man. So this thing is uh bigger than we think it is, okay. This thing is way bigger, man. The Lord dealing with us is way bigger than we think it is, man. The Lord been what? The Lord is uh, the Lord's eyes are upon those beautiful spirits, the prophets, man. The men that are fight that that are gonna fight for His name, man. And He sends angels to comfort us. Nine twenty one. You know, in certain things like that, the natural man receiveth not the things of the Most High, for they are foolishness unto him. Um, it's Thessalonians, Salakia. Bear with me. And Second Thessalonians. Oh, Salakia. Bear with me one moment. I said, so like it, bear with me real quick. Let's see more pages, man. Is it that someone? Well, the scriptures say, man, I know I had it too. You know, comfort ye one another with these words, man. Like I said, though, like, through the spirit, man, that's Satan, man. I've been reading this all, all week. All right, man, whatever, though. But, you know, the scriptures say comfort you one another with these words, man. You know, it tells you that the, the, the day of the Lord, the Lord shall come down with the, uh, with the sound of a trumpet. With the trump of an archangel, comfort ye one another with these words. That's exactly, that's what I'm looking for. Look, here it is right here. Do you see? It's 1 Thessalonians 4 and 18. It says, wherefore, comfort one another with these words, man. So, Lord willing, these was comforting words to you. I came out there, man. Hey, the Lord always had the angels around us. He always been around us. He sees what we're going through. We ain't going through it alone, man. Okay? But with that, I'm going to say, call all your how about Shimmy Al Shai by Shimmer Kakwadash. Double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone who were wedded to us as truth. Peace and blessings to you, Akimis, part of the Bayasha, double die, the house of David. Amen. Until next time, Shalom.